Welcome fans to another exciting episode of The Spread. I'm your host Jim Sella in studio with Jay Dash. Big Easy and JK47 are being little bitches, didn't come to work today. But we're going to talk about some buckos. They handed Mets pitcher Matt Harvey the worst outing of his career. I called it on the segment. I think he it was did. extra bases. Ridiculous. Matt Harvey's garbage, dude. The buckos just eat Harvey bars for breakfast. <laughs> That's exactly what you I said. I mean, come on. 47 and I said we think Matt Harvey's going to shut him down. But I'll tell you what. Boom. The Bucks offense is breaking out right now. Well... And, we'll see. Well, look, Matt Harvey did not allow a run in his previous 16 innings, and he became the fifth pitcher in team history to allow zero runs with nine Ks in consecutive starts. So this guy was on his game coming into this game, and they straight blew him up. They won this game 8-2. to two. He only lasted four innings, allowed six hits, seven earned runs, two walks, four Ks, and two big jacks. I'm going to venture to guess that Harvey figured, I'm playing the Pirates, they're not that good. I'm yeah, going to go yeah. do a bunch of yay and get hammered drunk the night before. So he kind of stumbled into this game, hung over. I think i seen him puking in the dugout a few times. I don't know. He, he didn't really seem on it. But the Buccas, they definitely took advantage of it. They thumped them pretty good. They got a series that they needed. And this could be the catalyst to uh, a great second three quarters of the league I guess or of the season you mean yes of the season yeah because the first quarter not terrible but not great they need to turn it on and this could do it yeah and they turned it on in, in a big way in this whole series they outscored the Mets 21 to 4 that's what I like to see consistency and scoring through the whole series consistency of domination is what you want to well, see that was nice you're not going to get double digit nah. uh, strikeout performances by our top three every game I'm happy to see the bats go, and I know that Cole and Burnett and Liriano are going to give you a chance to win every one of those games almost every time those guys go out. Our bats have been the one who have been falling asleep this year and just not getting it done, especially with runners in scoring position. And it's nice to see, you know, in the third game, Kutch had a two-run homer, Marte had a three-run homer. That's guys coming through in the clutch, and that's what we need. We need these guys to wake up, realize they're good, stop thinking too hard, and just play baseball and win like they did. Well, Kutch is breaking out in a huge way. In this game, he hit a two-run homer in the first inning with Harrison on base. Alvarez homered in the second inning and had an RBI double in the fourth inning scoring Gung. So they were putting runs on Harvey early, and he loaded the bases in the same inning, and even A.J. Burnett got into the action, hit a sack fly, giving the Bucks a 5-1 lead at that point. Kutch was named NL Player of the Week just, what, today or yesterday or something like that? Co-Player of the Week with Ryan Braun. Yeah, well, Ryan Braun's breaking out He's a cheater, well. so he shouldn't even get anything. But still, in the fourth inning, it wasn't even over at that point. Harrison doubled home Polanco and Cervelli to make it 7-1 to one at that point. Harvey did end up finishing that inning, but he wouldn't even come back out for the fifth. There wasn't enough Gatorade in the world that could get him back out there. I mean, he had some more... Pitches left to throw, but there's no way you want to bring him back out after seven earned runs in four innings. You think the Buccos had some of uh, them real nice Southside prostitutes sent to his room the night before to keep him up all night? That'd be a good strategy, huh? Hey, man, you want these hot, believe. hot biatches? Stay up all night, blow yay. You're going to be garbage the next day. Harrison, two for four in this game, his 11th double of the season, his... 12th and 13th RBIs, a run in his second stolen base. Kutch, 3 for 4, his 6th home run, his 8th double, his 24th and 25th RBIs. He also scored a run. Alvarez, he's breaking out in a big way as well. 2 for 4, his 8th home run, his 7th double, his 19th and 20th RBIs, and he also scored 2 runs. And uh -huh. I'm going to have to disagree with Alvarez breaking out. I'll give you Kutch breaking out because we know Kutch is going to keep it going. Is Alvarez going to... Breaking out means you're going to keep it going. Well, listen, Alvarez is streaky. He's what I'm saying, no, good, he's going to have he's his gonna down. Have a good week or two, but he's not going to have a great season. He's not going to keep this up. Kutch has the opportunity to keep this pace up every game. Maybe not three for four, but this type of production every game, we've seen it. He's an MVP caliber. Well, yeah, Alvarez is a streaky hitter, and that's just going to happen with him. But I'm telling you right now, he's playing like he did in 2013 which is all you want to see out of him. He was streaky in 2013 as well. There's no doubt about it. But he, he's going to start putting up those numbers again. And he doesn't have to worry about third base. He's on the other side of the diamond. He's playing some pretty good first base right now. Mm. 
So he's not really having to worry about defense as much as he was last year, and his bat's showing. Cervelli, one for three, a run and a walk in this game. Harvey, he is 5-2 and two on the season, 58.2 innings pitched, a, still a nice 291 ERA. And look at that whip still, 099, dominating, 60 Ks and just 10 walks on the season. That's still elite type numbers, but the Bucs are just too much. Chocolate melts in the heat in Pittsburgh, Maine. So that's it. The Bucs broke out in this series. 21 runs. And they kept it going in the next series as well. Who'd they beat up in the next series? The Miami Marlins swept them. Mm. A-Rod's going to be their new coach next year, according to hardballtalk.com, so we'll see. Well, A-Rod's playing well enough right now where I don't think he has to retire at the end of the season. Yeah, I have no idea what the article was about. It was really stupid. I just think the general manager that made himself manager after they fired, who was it they fired? Mike Redman. Yeah. And so then the GM's just like, you know what? I don't feel like paying a coach, so I'm just going to be the coach. That doesn't work. Craig Patrick did that with the Penguins one year. You remember that? No. In the 90s? It was like after the Lemieux and Yager had a lot, of, you know, they dominated in the early 90s and they had a shot at a couple cups. And then the Pens got real bad in between then and the Sidney Crosby area. I and remember that. fired, I think it might have been Kevin Constantine that year. And Craig Patrick just came down out of the owner's box and coached the team for the rest of the year. We were horrible. Well, this offense isn't horrible right now. Everyone is playing good outside of Gregory Polonka right now. And we're actually going to do a segment on him. Maybe not tonight, probably this weekend. And we're going to talk about, is he really as bad as people were saying? I say no. I think you say no. I say no. He's one of the few guys I'm going to give some slack to because he's doesn't even have a full season under his belt. You can't hate on a dude who's not even played a full MLB season. He's not going to carry the team, people. He's a role player on a team that has the opportunity to make the playoffs. Kutch, Marte, the pitchers, Harrison, Pedro, freaking, what's his name at second base? Walker. I mean, these what's are the guys that are supposed to carry the, real the team. Deal? All Polanco has to do is be calm and just play. Just play baseball, young man. You got it. He's got the skills to do it. He's just struggling a little. Buckos, elite offense. Wrap it up, dude. Well, thank you, Dash, for coming in the studio and making me talk about the Pirates. Thank you, fans, for listening. You guys can follow us on Twitter at Bet underscore the spread. You can follow me on Twitter at Bet Jim to win. You can check out our website at thespreadnews.simplesite.com. You can like our Facebook page and subscribe to that YouTube channel. 